It's moving day, and Victor Guevara's can hardly believe it. He finally is a homeowner, and what a journey. One, ten, one, twenty. You want ten? I'm bid one, twenty. CNN was there last March when Guevara's, after saving and renting for 12 years, sweated it out at a New York foreclosure auction, hoping to gain on someone else's pain. $60, Amid ear-splitting auctioneers, he nervously battled other bidders to snatch his bargain basement home that last sold for more than a half million dollars last fall. Sold for $230,000, but that was just the start. He had to plunk down five grand just a bid and another 7,000 cash in fees to go to the next step. In April, before Guevara's could get a mortgage, an inspector first had to certify the house was up to code. It passed. All right, let's work on the deed. A few weeks later, it's closing day. Guevara's officially owns a home. It's qualifying for us uh, to, to help you. My dream came true. This is the new place, huh? After some fever-pitched renovation, including new floors and much more. We opened this up, and I got a new banister and a new post. Victor Guevara's moved his family into their new home. What I had to do when I moved in was make it my own, and that's what we did. It's a work in progress. So far, they spent $20,000 fixing it up, but Guevara says he's still coming out ahead. I got a good deal on the house. I got, I, got an, I got a great deal on the house. My mortgage is $300 less than what I pay rent. Right there. Eight-year-old son Devin now has his own room with a window overlooking his backyard and no downstairs neighbors. I'll say this is my house. This is my house. That make you feel what? Strong. Strong. <laughs> The last three months has been an incredible ride. But buying a foreclosed home at auction takes preparation. So definitely research the property that you're into, be prepared to dole out a buyer's premium, and bring earplugs. Uh, yes, earplugs. The family already is planning backyard barbecues. What are you going to have? Hot dogs, Italian sausages, hamburgers, steak. And a lifetime of memories. I don't look at it like it's my home, it's their home. It's for them. Their future. Their future. For one Queen's family, a new adventure, owning its first home. For a neighborhood, perhaps a sign of better things to come. In an area still smarting from a high number of foreclosures. Susan Candiotti, CNN, Queens, New York.